Ah, uh, good people. Welcome to Game Day Morning from the Red Brick House. This morning, Michael Irvin is talking to my quarterback, Dak Prescott. All you haters can kiss my high yellow hind parts. I don't care what you think about him. He's my quarterback. I think he's great. I think he can win a Super Bowl. But if Jerry Jones doesn't get off his fat ass, actually, it's old skinny ass, get off his ass, him and Steven Jones, and give him the help, it doesn't matter who you have as a quarterback. Because Roger Staubach, Troy Aikman, they did not win Super Bowls without having the team around them. They had great defense. They had great offensive line. They had great running games. So it's up to you guys to help the quarterback get over the hump. Let's hear what they have to say about the latest for the game. Two hours before kickoff. Oh, gosh, look at Micah coming to work today. He's a lion. He's a poo right there. No, I think that's a lion. It's not Winnie the Pooh. That's a lion. That's a lion. I don't have return here, Rich, so I didn't quite know what you were talking about, but let's talk about these Dallas Cowboys. Head coach Mike McCarthy told us coming into this season that they wanted to run the ball more, but they've been struggling with that a little bit in the absence of Ezekiel Elliott. Tony Pollard is obviously now the feature back, but when we look at his numbers, well, he's averaging less than four yards per attempt, and his career average is a full yard less. The running the ground. I caught up with him about that this week, and he said during the bye, he did a lot of self-scouting, and without getting too specific, he said he noticed some tendencies. He also said as the lead back, he's trying to adjust to the flow of the game and the patience required there. Mm -hmm. So we see if we'll get an improved Pollard today. I'm sure that Dak Prescott would love that, wouldn't he, Michael? He would love that. I'd love that. Yeah, I'm tired right there, but I don't have any fancy things for you because this is too serious. Huh? Mm -hmm. Only to this is a why serious why matter. matter. Because it stands for New beginning, 88, we needed a couple new beginnings, that's why it's so important. But it's, I got a chance to sit down with the Dallas Cowboys star quarterback, Dak Prescott. It's like been 28 suit. years, not 30, everybody keeps talking about 30, but it's been 28 years. And Dak believes, go check. coming out of this by week, headed right now, week eight, facing the Rams in the eighth season of his career with the Dallas Cowboys, that this will be kind of a new beginning. And they expect this time, this season, to go right on in to a Super Bowl finish in Los Angeles. Yeah, we came four and two, buddy. How do you assess the performance so far this season? A uh, good start, but we want to be great. So uh, it's just only the beginning. I had some, some ups and downs uh, a couple of weeks ago. Playing tonight is very humbling loss in that sense. Jack Gabby by far his worst game of the year. Being able to respond, put a big win up on, on Monday night. Jack Prescott, he did what he had to do. Able to take that bye week, reevaluate some of our strengths, our weaknesses, dial back in, put the best version of ourselves. There you go. This week with the Rams. <laughs> Your teammate, Michael Parsons, said something on his podcast. I just don't condone the bashing of Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. How do you deal with the noise? Uh, obviously, uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate Michael Parsons having my back. That's what our yep. bond, our brotherhood, that locker room is all about, is that culture of true brotherhood. And at the end of the day, going into eight years of playing for this team, all that does is really stir it up even more, which I say, bring it on. Eight years as the Dallas Cowboys quarterback. No one is under the microscope like you. What is that like? Yeah, I mean, I think for one, life experience has helped. Uh, when you've been through some of the things that I've been through away from the game, you don't take anything for granted, and, and you damn sure don't listen to other people's opinions. I can understand sometimes fans not being happy, fans not getting what they want, and for me, as I said, it's about knowing who I am and just doubling down on that. Keep doubling down on that and doing well. And I know you get to watch somebody from the bench in Michael Parsons. What's the craziest thing you saw him do in the football game? Uh, it's a lot. One of the craziest plays, I guess, is you go back and look at the Bears game last year. He's trying to chase the running back down. He fumbles. He picks up the ball. Nobody touches him. Makes everybody miss and scores. That's just a taste right there of athleticism and the type of player that that guy is. High motor, athletic as it gets, faster than a lot of people on the field, if not everybody. And he wants to make every play.
But the Rams got a guy like that on that defensive line, just like that. And Aaron Donald, man, so talk to me about that Rams defense and facing a beast like they do. Aaron Donald destroys the play. Unfortunately, I've had to play against him a lot in my career. In that sense, you've got to give him his focus. He deserves it. The guy's three-time defensive player of the year, one of the best players of this generation. So uh, he deserves that, and we're going to make sure that we give him focus. It's a good fundamental team, great defense, great defensive coordinator. They've got some good young cornerbacks that are aggressive, so it's about tagging some of our matchups for you. Here we go now. Here we go now. I'm like so tired of you. You really care more than one of the Super Bowl in 30 years. Oh, here How we go. What does that put on you? It's pressure, but it's fun. Oh, he's kept it. He's going out to so Pressure, but it's fun. I want to see the It's the only reason that I play this game. You know, nobody plays for second place, uh, especially when you're in this organization. It's Super Bowl or failure each year. You go back and we made the journey. I can tell you all these eight years that I've been in the league. We're going to blast in a lot of great things on each and every team. But that window isn't always there, and we have a window. So it's about focusing in on one game at a time. It's taking these small victories and putting ourselves in that position to really go make that run out. to be trick-or-treating. Let's have fun, though. We're here for some candy. Arr, give us some treats or walk the plank. Dude, come on. Mooch, gotta be honest, that's a great Dustin Henderson from Stranger Things costume. Dustin who from what? Never mind. Stick around. Up next, it's time for our annual trick-or-treat segment. Team Hard Shell, Team Soft Shell, Home Team, Winning Team. Alright, I'm still getting set up for the game today. Ari is ready to buy her first house. Gotta get my equipment down here, cooking the food for the game day eats. And um, we're gonna have a, have a ball. But that's my quarterback. You know, it, it's sad. That this guy is a guy who puts everything on the field. He does everything he can to get the team a victory. And yet, that guy just gets shit on. It, it doesn't matter. It, it's just, he gets shit on constantly. But I guess that's the nature of the beast when you are the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And um, one of these days, I'm going to say, I told you so, when he hosts up that Lombardi trophy. Hope you guys tune in in about two hours from now. I'm going crazy right now because we're trying to get set up. Got to get the other TV down here. Got to get my chicken pasta. Got to get the big sub ready. A lot to do. And the chicken wings for Joe Boo because Joe Boo's in the house as well. Peace.